Hi everyone. Welcome to another session of Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. Before we start this tutorial, please take a backup of your valuable data in your PC. Mr. Techpathy Tutorial takes no responsibility for any damage or loss of your valuable data. In previous session, we learned about Windows 7 application Oracle VM Virtual Box. Please view previous session before proceeding further. Right. Once you are done installing Oracle VM Virtual Box, you need to first choose the flavor of Linux you are going to install using Virtual Box. I'll go ahead and download CentOS Linux Flavor. To download this image, open a web browser, copy and paste this URL into the address bar, and just press enter. I've also copied this URL in the video show notes. In this website, scroll down. Here you can see four entries. I'm going to download the first one, which is 690 meg. Download this ISO image to any location of your choice. I've already downloaded this ISO image. This is the ISO image, CentOS ISO image, which is 6.3 version. Now, we need to open our virtual box manager. So once this is open, first let's create a new virtual machine. This is very simple interface. And from here on, we'll be using this application for installing the Linux and also bringing up the Linux. So let's see how to do it. First, select the new. Type the name as you wish. I'm going to type Mr. Techpathy underscore sent OS. As you can see, the type and version are automatically selected by the application. Click next. Now, we need to select the memory size. You should be very careful in choosing the amount of memory here because it is allocated to virtual machine from your existing RAM memory. I am having 3 gigs of RAM, so I will go ahead with 1.4 GB. VirtualBox actually shows the green and pink color in order to show the best and worst case scenarios. So you can choose wisely here. Click Next. Here, you need to create a virtual hard drive for your virtual machine. Select create a virtual hard drive now and just press create. Now select default options from here on. Select VDA as a type of your hard drive and click next. Select dynamically allocated option and click next. Choose the location of virtual hard drive and also the size of the hard drive. I'll leave the default location unchanged and change the hard disk size from 8 gig to 32 gig. Choosing hard disk size again depends on the size of free space available in your Windows 7 hard drive. Finally, click create. Great. Now we are ready with a virtual machine skeleton. We need to add the ISO image to it. Let's do it now. As you can see, this is the virtual machine we just created. In order to add an ISO image, just click on the storage. As you can see, there are two entries here. One is controller IDE and one is controller SATA. So you, we will use controller IDE and we will try to install the Linux operating system from the ISO image. So first select the ISO image from here. Choose this ISO image. As you can see, I have already downloaded my CentOS ISO image in iDrive Mr. Techpathy videos, Oracle VM machines. So this is the path where I'll be selecting the same image now select system. Here, make sure that the ID interface CD-ROM drive is in the highest priority. And click OK. The application is showing some warning. It says that we have assigned 50% of your computer memory. So just reduce this and click OK. Fine. Now we are good to go. Press start. CentOS is booting up now. For the first time, we'll be installing CentOS. As you can see, the CentOS operating system is booting up. I'd like to mention one important thing here. In order to switch between your virtual machine and Windows 7 PC, you need to press right control button on your keyboard. To make it easier to remember, VirtualBox displays right control at bottom of your virtual machine. As you can see, this is the right control. If you want to switch to a Windows machine, just press the right control. 
wait till the Linux boots up. Click on login. Here we have standalone virtual CentOS Linux operating system running on Windows 7 PC. Click on install to hard drive. This will start CentOS installer. From here on, it's normal installation procedure. Click on next. Select your preferred country. I'm going to select United Kingdom and press next. Leave it to basic storage devices option here and press next. Since we have created our own virtual hard drive, you can just say yes, discard any data. Enter the host name of your choice and click next. Select your country. I'm selecting London and pressing next. Enter your password. Re enter your password. and click next since we have created virtual hard drive for this virtual machine select use all space as you can see we have selected 32 GB of hard drive so this operating system will be installed in 32 GB of virtual hard drive click next select write changes to disk Now relax and wait for a few minutes for the installation to complete. The installation has just started. We will be right back after completing the installation. It took a couple of minutes to install the CentOS Linux operating system on Windows 7 PC using this virtual box. Click on close and reboot the virtual machine. As I have stated earlier, in order to reboot the virtual machine, you need to move from virtual machine to Windows 7 PC. So just press on right click, select machine and click on close. Select send the shutdown signal option and press OK. And shut down your virtual machine by clicking on shutdown. Now, once your CentOS virtual machine is shut down, in order to boot up with an image from the hard drive, you need to change the boot sequence. So first, go to system settings by clicking on system and change this boot preferences and make hard drive as the highest priority and click OK. Once this change is done, start your virtual machine again. Now, instead of taking the ISO image, the system will be booting up with CentOS operating system. Select CentOS operating system and click enter. As you can see, the CentOS 6.3 operating system is booting up from your virtual hard drive. Here we are with the CentOS 6 Linux operating system on Windows 7 PC. We are running from a virtual machine. So let's do the initial setup. Click on forward. Select S. Yes, I agree to the license agreement and press forward. Here, you can enter your username as you wish. Enter all the details and click on forward. You can select the date and time. Select synchronize date and time over the network and click OK. It's starting the NTP service and it shows something like insufficient memory to auto enable KDAM press OK. This is not an issue and finish it. This is the Linux virtual machine. Click on your username and enter the password. Here we are with a fully functional CentOS Linux operating system installed on a virtual machine using a virtual box. You can just open a terminal and write your programs and execute them as you do on Linux PC. That's all for this session. Please feel free to comment and query. Thanks for watching Mr. Techpathy Tutorials.